Don't treat me like I'm a loose cannon just because I'm a loose cannon. I really fucking hate the word grief. It's like a punch to the gut, a kick behind the knees, a sad song stuck on repeat. They say time is a thief, but opiates stole way more from me. I don't know how to ask for help or to stop running around this mountain of hurt because I stand here right now, but you're six feet under the dirt. Your name is stuck in the back of my throat right next to the apology you're owed. Not for anything I said, but for everything I didn't, every tear that went unshed. I stuffed it all in, tried to make myself forget because the bad memories of you never cease to offset the happy ones. If I could just remember the sound of your laugh or the jokes that you tell me, now all I have left are photographs and your old tattered work shirt. I'm so sorry, Dad, for the way you've been remembered, struggling and defeated, for every broken habit I've judged, but then repeated. For a 12-year-old girl's instinctual defiance to shut down her emotions, yet desperately seeking guidance from someone, anyone, but the adults in my life were compliant. We shattered your memory, gave you nothing but mental anguish and violence, not a single moment of empathetic silence. <sighs> Until now, I feel stuck, permanently placed within the walls of my preteen years, an hourglass shattered by the hands of fate. That's where it all ended, but it still takes up space. It doesn't matter if I tell it, go on now, be free, because I've chained this pain to my soul with an iron lock and threw out the fucking key. I feed it, but I give it no nurture. Funny how your addiction was just a precursor to mine, but I'll be fine, because I have to be, because three little girls are counting on me and I'll be damned if I leave them behind, even when I'm lost to the dark current of my mind. I can't feel you, and I think that's what haunts me. Like the ghost of every version of myself I've outgrown. Each one that you never even got the chance to know. But this version right here, right now, God, she misses you. And she's done wondering how to make you disappear. Along with every emotion I've grown to fear. No one knows what tomorrow may bring. And I forgive my future self for the times that I'll sink straight back down to the depths of self-contempt because I realize that I'll never be fully exempt from the extent of this heartache. And that has to be okay. I'll just take it day by day. Just like the constant reminder I need inked on my body like a tattoo that I'm allowed to be angry. I'm allowed to feel confused. But when I find a glimmer of peaceful nostalgia centered around you, I'll remind myself to hold it as tight as I can. You are only human after all, just as I am. So don't treat me like a loose cannon just because I'm a loose cannon. Just because I dance on the line between weakness and strength, wanting to be cradled but holding everyone at arm's length. I am broken and unprepared, but my cracks, they're filled with crestfallen gratitude. Yet who knows if I pass or fail this personal test of aptitude. I doubt it because I'm the teacher, judge, and executioner. And it's just too damn bad sentenced by my own gavel to forever dwell on the life we could have had. My psyche polluted with flares and smoke signals one minute, but spotless the next. Which will it be? Is it perspective I need? I don't know. I just really fucking hate the word grief. Thank you. Yeah.